Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just another quick friendly reminder that if you are still using Windows 7 and Windows 8.1, that in a week's time, Microsoft will be ending support for those versions of the Windows operating system. Now, just to do a quick recap, in just under a week in my region, which is the 10th of January next week, that will be the first Patch Tuesday for 2023 and will be the last Patch Tuesday if you are still running Windows 7 ESU, which is the extended security updated version of Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1, after the 10th next week, those operating systems will still function, but you will no longer get any technical support, software updates, security updates, fixes and so on after the 10th, which means Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 will have reached their end of life. And if you'd like a little bit more info um, regarding the end of support for those operating systems, I have posted videos previously which you can just do a search for on the channel. Now, um, also to do another recap, that's not the only thing happening when it comes to Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 shortly. As posted previously, Google is pulling the plug on support for Chrome when it reaches version 110 um, in a month's time. Now, currently we are using Chrome version 108 and with the release of version 110 on the 7th of February, Chrome will be ending support for their web browser on Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. And the exact same thing applies to Microsoft with the Edge web browser, where Microsoft will be pulling the plug on their support for Edge if you are still using Windows 7 and Windows 8.1. And that's also with the rollout and release of Edge version 110. And that's the same week as Google Chrome, the same week as the 7th of February. So you've got just over a month when it comes to um, the end of support for Edge and Chrome if you are still running Windows 7 and or 8.1. Now, as I have posted previously, um, if you are affected, um, you can upgrade or install a, um, a, a newer version of the operating system um, using your Windows 7 product key and your Windows 8 product key. And I'll leave a link in the description to a whole video I did post on that topic if that would assist you and, um, uh, you know, just give you a little bit more info. And um, if you are running a Windows 7 and 8.1 device, I seriously doubt, though, that it will meet the system requirements to be upgraded to or um, have Windows 11 installed. Um, I don't think the devices will meet those system requirements. But as mentioned, um, you can install Windows 10 using your product keys from Windows 7 and Windows 8. And um, if you are running an older device and you are unable to install Windows 10 or Windows 11, you can also go the Linux route, as I have mentioned previously. And just three Linux distros you could um, take a look at are Zorin OS, Linux Lite, and Linux Mint. Very similar to how Windows operates. And I think your migration and transition over uh, to any of those three versions of Linux would, um, you know, be the smoothest and the most simplest. But nonetheless, um, as mentioned, next week, the 10th of January, 2023, Microsoft ending support for Windows 7, ESU and Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.